Okay, so I've had some questions on problem 4-11 in your textbook. Um, and basically what it wants, to, the question is asking for the present value of two different annuities. And so we're going to talk about ordinary annuities and annuity dues in this problem. Or what's called an annuity due. So let's just go ahead and get right into the problem. It says, suppose your opportunity cost is 11% compounded annually. A, how much must you deposit in an account today if you want to pay yourself $230 at the end of the next 15 years? Okay, so that's annuity because you're paying yourself the same amount of money over several years. Okay, so that's, that's an annuity. Um, how much you pay, how much must you pay if you deposit, if you want to pay yourself $230 at the beginning of each of the next 15 years? So those are the questions. So let's just go ahead and type it in here. Given, uh, we have an our present value payment future value okay so those are the things we want to address um, we know n is uh, 15 so we can say 15 and we're going to type years in a separate cell r is 11 percent make sure you type the percent per year okay and the present value well that's what we want to know because it says how much must you deposit if you want to pay yourself? So you need to deposit that now. And the payment is, and you're going to get $230. So I'm going to leave that positive. And that's per year. Okay. And the future value, well, you're not going to have any money when you're done. Okay. So, um, so we want to find, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this format down here. So I'm going to click on this cell and go Format Painter. Okay. So we want to find the present for A. We want to find the present value for an ordinary annuity. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and make the subscript. So I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to hit hold down the Control, hold down the Shift, hit the F as in font. Okay, or format cells. Then you go control B for subscript and then I'm gonna hit enter. So that's just gonna make sense so it looks a little bit nicer. So you want to know the present value for an ordinary annuity? An ordinary annuity that means like it says here, if you want to if you want to pay yourself at the end of the next each of the next 15 years, okay? And then for 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 B, we want to know. The present, the present value of an annuity due. Oh. Sometimes you got to go in the middle here. Well, I'm not going to let me do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and reformat it here. Control Shift F, Alternate B, Enter. Make that a capital. Sometimes Excel tries to do things automatically for you, which you don't really want done. Okay, so this is uh, payments at end of period. Payments at beginning of period. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this because we're done with this. I'm just going to hit delete. Okay, so for a solution... Well, we could draw this out, I guess, for for those of you pe those those people that are more visually oriented. I could like make a little chart here. What I could do is uh, go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, we're gonna underline that. So I'm gonna make it a thick bottom border. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight across these. I'm going to drag one of these so I can put this a little bit closer. And then, so right now, I'm going to do a left border here. So I'm going to go draw a border. Okay, so I don't want that to be a fine line. So I'm going to go back here. Yeah, I'm going to go line style. Thick. So this is what we want to know here. And then we have payments coming here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? So this is what we got going on. And so this is my present value, right? So we want to know. And these are my payments right here. So for your visual people, that's what's going on, and our R is 11%. So if I want 15 payments, what am I going to have to pay right now if I'm able to earn 11% of my money? At the end, I'm not going to have any money, so there's no future value coming in. Okay, so I'm going to copy this down. And what we can do, we can say equals PV for present value, and hit a parentheses. And the first thing it asks me is for the rate in bold. So I'm going to click the 11%. When I go to a comma, it goes to the number of periods. Well, the number of periods is a 15. You do a comma, what's bold next is a payment, which is right here. You do a comma again, it asks for the future value. Well, that's zero. Now I could actually not even, but I can just skip it and just do a comma and it knows it's zero. And the type, well, it says here when you go to, when it says zero at the end of the period, which is what we have here. Or you could admit it. You can omit it and not put anything. So now I don't even have to put a parentheses at the end. I can just hit enter and it's going to put the answer. So it's six sixteen fifty three ninety. Now why is it negative? Because I have to invest. That's the cash flow out of my pocket in order to get these positive cash flows later. Now remember on on an exam, on my exams, if you're taking a class from me, you want to make sure you just put that in there as a positive number. I'll just say that because I'm not, I don't know. For me, I just want to know what number you have. I don't care if it's negative or positive. And also do not put the dollar sign in. And take everything out to do two places, whether it's percent or, or dollars. Okay, so B, you want to know this one. So in newly due, the payment at the beginning of the period is going to be equal to the present value, parentheses, the rate, comma, it asks for the number of periods. Click on that, comma. As for the payment, click on that. Future value, I'm going to admit. Now it says beginning of period. I have to type a one because it's saying beginning of a period right here. And then call calls it. So those are my two answers. So as simple as that. Okay, so that's that's all you have to do. So remember, if it's an annuity due, each one of these payments, you still have 15 payments, but they're all shifted one period to the left. So it'd be here, here, there wouldn't be one. This one would actually annuity due this one. Let me do this. Uh, well, I'm not going to waste time. Uh, let's just, but this one would just be moved over here. So there'd be 15 payments still, but this last one would be here at the beginning. Okay. Now, uh, to do it on the calculator, uh, what you'd want to do, uh, I'm going to go to our home tab. Go to my syllabus, and we in this class we use the HP 12C. So this is downloadable. You can download this on your smartphone or hook up the emulator online. Now the first thing you want to do is clear everything. So I'm gonna hit second, clear finance, and clear X. So second, finance, clear X. You always want to do that when you start it, and then we're gonna address each one of these. So we have N, N is 15. So I'm gonna go 15, N. And then the interest rate's 11%. So I'm going to go 11i. And then 0 is the future value, right? Our payment is 230. So I'm going to put that in for payment. And then I'm going to solve for the present value. So the present value is a negative 1653.90. If you look here, negative 1653.90. Now, if I want to do it at the beginning up here, you see here in blue, it has beginning and end. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the blue key and go beginning, and it says begin on the calculator. And I'm going to hit the present value again, and it's a negative 1835.83. And that's what we have here, the negative 1835.83. So as simple as that. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.